Matt, it's been a pretty good week. It's been a pretty good season for you so far and you cap it off with another really good performance and a brilliant goal as well. Just try and sum up that, that match for us. Yeah, good match. Really good start. Early goal makes everything, you know, a little bit easier, especially at a place like this. Helps kind of settle the crowd and I think the first 25 minutes or so we were very good. Um, probably came off it a little bit, but saying that four goals here is impressive. Yeah, I mean, this is always a place that's difficult to come to, but today our performance was really at another level and really silenced the home crowd. What was it about the team today that you, you really enjoyed playing in? I think we were, just, we were very fluid. We played for the team, which was you know the most important thing. No one was overdoing it with the amount of touches they were taking. We were playing quick, max two, three touches, and I think that shows you know when you play at a quick tempo, on a pitch that's good as well, you're naturally going to create space and find opportunities. And talk us through your goal because it was some strike. I mean, you're watching that ball coming over your shoulder. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking anything. Just um, <laughs> if I was thinking something, I probably would have wouldn't have made contact. I was trying to just made the run, knew where to go because Luis has got that ball in his locker. Um, kind of spoke about that before the game and then made good contact and luckily went in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, as I said at the start, it kind of caps off what's been a pretty mental week for you, I imagine, getting into the Denmark squad and, and travelling to the game against San Marino, winning player of the month and now a goal. But how do you feel in yourself at this moment in time? I feel good, yeah. I feel, um, feel relaxed, which is nice. Um, I'm not feeling too high or low in general, which is probably the most important thing. I'm kind of just steady throughout all the chaos, which is, I think, very important, especially at a club like Celtic, kind of just staying grounded and staying, staying pretty present for it all. And, um, yeah, I feel good. And it keeps you at the top of the goal scoring charts as well in the, in the league. Um, <laughs> we've got Kyogo, who's probably going to end up scoring 30 goals. So. Uh, it leads us into Wednesday night, a big one against Atletico Madrid, a really exciting night at Celtic Park. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, it'll be fun. I know everyone's hyping it up, but just another game. We'll just play our football and hopefully get a result.